This is where all the magic happens. Okay, well, science. This is just one of the rooms that we perform speed breeding here at the University of Queensland. In this glasshouse, we can control temperature plus minus one degree. This gives us a lot of power to manipulate plant growth. We also have control over the lights. This room is fitted with sodium vapour lamps, which we use to extend the photo period. If we want to grow the plants super fast, the lights stay on 24 hours a day. In here, we have lots of different activities going on. These are our four plants, going through the process of single seed descent. In this system, we can grow wheat seed to seed in just six weeks. Any glasshouse can be converted for speed breeding. In this room, we use cheap LED spotlights to extend the photo period. In this glasshouse, we're performing selection for many important characteristics. Here we have a segregating population that we're screening for resistance to fusarium crown rot. By integrating speed breeding and screening for rust resistance, we are able to identify adult plant resistance within a short space of time. And here we have fixed lines being characterized for yellow spot resistance. It's the number one foliar disease of wheat crops in Australia. So we not only select for disease traits, but we also select for some abiotic traits. We're selecting for narrow root growth angle, which enables the plants to access more water deep down in the soil profile. So there you have it. Speed breeding is a powerful tool for crop improvement. I hope you enjoyed the speedy tour of the speed breeding system here at the University of Queensland.